Hello everybody, so I have, what, I was going to say another unboxing video, but it's not actually an unboxing video. So, um, I was sent a hamper of fitness stuff. You guys know, especially if you follow me on Instagram, I, <laughs> I drink a lot of protein powder. I hit the gym a lot. I'm really into my health and fitness, not only for my job, but for my mental health as well. Um, and I decided to take part in the SNS fitness hamper. So, I'm going to read you the little um, thingy that they sent me and then I shall get into showing you some of the stuff. And now, this time, because it's not unbo an unboxing, I can actually give you a review on most of the things that I was sent. Um, there's a couple of protein powders, um, some teas and stuff that I've been trying, like shakers and things like that. So. It says, Dear Hannah, we are so excited to have you to be part of our SNS Fitness Hamper. We hope you like it and enjoy so showcasing some amazing brands. All gifts come complete with a direct link and some even have exclusive promotional codes for you and your followers, which I will, of course, leave in the down bar for you guys to use. Don't forget to take a look at our website so you can see all the exciting campaigns we've been involved in, as well as the new events and campaigns coming soon. So we've got um, the brands features are Garbanzo, Indigo Herbs, Fit Tea. L Sports, The Coconut Company, Blender Bottle, Arctic Power Berries, Taking the Pea, Goddess Nutrition, Prana Protein, Jiminy's, Mighty Matcha, Wellthos, Mitzvitz Nutrition, Sweet Revolution, and finally West Lab. Love the SNS team. So I'm not actually going to show you the hamper. I have like the weirdest filming setup today. I have a wash basket because I couldn't find a stool <laughs> in front of me with this hamper thing balanced on top of it, which I've kind of emptied and spread around me with the PR notes sort of attached to somehow on the product so that I don't mess anything up. So I'm going to show you some bits. Let's do a few like protein bars and like snacky bits first. So this is a Jiminy's Dark Chocolate and Fig um, Energy Bar. And I've got the little PR here and it says, Hi Hannah. Here is an energy bar made with cricket flour. I haven't tried this. This is one of the things I was a little bit nervous to try. I have tried like dried crickets and things before. Um, careful, it has the same allergens as crustaceans. Okay, so for those of you who are allergic to crustaceans, like shellfish and stuff, then shellfish and stuff. I sound like Sean Connery. Um, then this will not be ideal for you. Um, cricket flour is full of protein, iron and calcium. The bars are made with dried fruit and almonds. It's very tasty, just give it a go. I hope you're going to enjoy it before or after a workout. Warm wishes. So that's lovely. Right, should I try this on camera? Maybe I should. I'm gonna work out later today. Okay, so it actually just looks like some sort of dried date bar. It doesn't smell weird, it smells like chocolate. I'm just gonna have a little. Um, it just tastes like a dried fruit bar. I would say it's not as sweet as something like the, um, you know, the naked bars. But it doesn't taste like I can taste more of the fig than I can anything else, to be honest. There's a hint of like cacao or something like natural chocolate, but it's not. It doesn't taste like bugs, let's put it that way. Um, okay, so this is actually, it's probably higher protein than a lot of the other sort of like naked bars and things. I mean, this is not bad. The sugar content in here is not awful either, even though it's got figs in. I would expect it to be, I mean, most of the carb does come from sugar, but I would expect it could be higher in sugar uh, because of the fruit content. But um, I would eat this. I would have it probably, it would have to be before or probably post-workout for me. Um, I probably wouldn't have this as just like a normal snack. I'm not big on um, natural, like fruity energy bars and stuff. I'd rather have like a protein snack or, I don't know, like a high fat, low carb snack. Like, I don't know, like hummus and carrot sticks or something. I feel like a lot of these bars although they are healthy, that you still have to watch the sugar con content in them because of the sort of amount of dried fruit and stuff that's chucked in there. So that was Jiminy's. I would totally recommend as a part of your pre or post workout. I would totally eat that. I wouldn't have it as a normal snack, but I would have it pre or post workout. 
Next snacky type things I have to show you are these. And these are taking the peas. So these are coated crunchy peas. And I've got smoked ham, wacky wasabi, cheesy peasy and onion, and I've got sweet chili salsa. So I can't find the PR for this, but it says our cheeky marrow fat peas combine nice with just the right amount of naughty. With less fat than peanuts and more fibre than crisps, our flavoured peas provide a tasty number 145 calories a pack and they're available in four satisfying flavours. Um, shall I try one? Let's try the smoked ham ones. So they look like this. actually really good i would eat these instead of crisps any day because i'm such a crisp person mm. but i thoroughly recommend these i mean i can't wait to try the other flavors i'm probably gonna snack on these throughout the rest of the video so it's about that you know can't help myself right the next thing i want to show you is this by west lab it's epsom bathing salt with arnica spearmint and eucalyptus natural first aid for sore muscles Sports recovery after exercise, revives mind, body, and fatigue. Now, I have had similar salts to this before, and I have to say I'm a big fan of Epsom salts for as part of your recovery if you are training a lot or you're lifting heavy or just any kind of like quite tough physical exercise on a regular basis. Um, so I'm quite excited to try these, but I haven't finished up my other bath salts yet. But this is 100% vegan, no synthetics, and it's pharmaceutical grade. So. Um, it's really good for tenderness after exertion, um, aching muscles, tiredness, muscle recovery after sports. So if you're an athlete or you you know you do CrossFit anything like that, really good. Um, and it says with active ingredients such as arnica and colloid colloidal oatmeal. Mm. These new and exclusive innovative bathing salts have been paired with their perfect partner for supercharged extreme therapeutics therapeutics um muscle relief epsom salt arnica and eucalyptus oh my god i can't talk today so this is the one that i've got so that's natural first aid for muscles um mind and body fatigue recovery after exercise they also do a skin repair which is dead sea salt something that i'm also quite a big fan of which is moisturizing and protecting supports skin's natural protection soothes psoriasis which i do suffer with um and eczema prone skin and then the other one is the body claim Body cleanse, which is the Himalayan sea salt, seaweed and lemon, um, naturally cleansing, rich in vitamins and minerals, and leaves skin, skin feeling toned and radiant. So, excited to try this, haven't done yet, but will do shortly. You will probably see this pop up next on my Instagram. Again, I can't seem to find a PR note for these, but these are gar garbanzo dry roasted chickpeas in the flavour Thai sweet chilli. I have two other packets of these in my rucksack currently, one of which I've eaten and they were the wasabi ones and they were delicious and a perfect snack to stop me because I often on the way back from Carstow's, if I'm feeling really snacky rather than getting like a salad or something, I want to go into WH Smith and get some like salt and vinegar discos or a packet of what's it's, which is not the way to do it. Um, so I have been kind of gradually taking in like a bar from this hamper or like a packet of these or like one of the pee things or you know something like that to chuck in my rucksack so I can also a report back on what I think of them but also it just stops me snacking on shit so um these are really nice the wasabi ones I tried were excellent like really crunchy satisfying enough that it feels like a crisp but you know it's not really awful for you um and they are portioned out into these little 30 gram bags so um Thai sweet chili I think I've got a Cajun spice one as well which I haven't tried yet but I can totally, totally vouch for the wasabi ones. Amaze balls. The next few bits I have to show you are from Prada Protein, and these are their high protein energy bars. Um, this is cacao and vanilla, and they also gave me a couple of the goji berry and chia seed. I have, in fact, eaten one of these as a pre workout snack. Um, it was delicious. Again, it's one of these things, it's actually more. Um, 
it's got more like a whole it's got like whole grain flakes and stuff in it so it is more than 20 percent protein in fact let me just read what it is per bar so per bar you've got 187 calories 7.1 grams of fat 19 grams of carbs and 10.1 grams of protein so i would say these are probably better than the Jiminy's as well. These are an actual protein bar. Again, the carbs are still higher than the protein in it, but I would say anything above like 10 grams counts as a protein bar to me. Um, again, it is more fruity than the, pr the proper protein bars that maybe I'll buy like the Pro Max Lean ones or anything like that. But um, you kind of, if you're going for these more natural sort of more vegan options, you are going to get a higher carb content. I can vouch that this flavour is delicious. I haven't tried the other one yet, but if you are not keen on kind of like the whey protein bars or anything like that, I would absolutely recommend these. And all the ingredients appear to be very natural. It's got things like soy protein, um, whole grain flakes, gluten-free oats, buckwheat, quinoa, cacao nibs, coconut oil, flax seeds, chicory fibre, grape juice concentrate. So it's, I mean, I'm not really seeing anything in here that I don't kind of recognise what it is. So that's a win. This is something from Neat Protein. I haven't tried it yet. I have no PR that I can find for it, but this is Neat Nutrition Whey Protein Fitness Health Lifestyle Food Supplement. Um, this is the vanilla flavour. It's 30 grams as one serving. This contains 113 calories, 1.7 grams of fat, um, 1.2 of carbohydrates and protein is 22.3 grams. So uh, GMO free, gluten free, vegetarian, soy free. If you are looking for um, something that is a very high protein content compared to fats, and carbs this is your legit protein powder um i really like the maxi nutrition protein powders i'm a big fan of them my protein my preference is for whey protein but as you will see later i have been trying a couple of vegan ones also that i have found to be quite appetizing and quite a nice change so um i haven't tried this yet but i will probably make some kind of like banana smoothie um, situation with this and report back on my Instagram so anything that I haven't sort of posted about or I can't review for you here do check out my Instagram later it is at Hannah Jo Janes um, I will leave all links and stuff below excited to try this though because this looks like it's got actually a higher protein content than the ones that I have been using um, and yet the carbs haven't gone up in it, so I don't know why that would be, but I shall do a little bit more research and report back on this one. The next thing I have to show you, this is the Coconut Company, is it? Yeah, it is the Coconut Company. I've got a couple of things to show you. So I've got this organic coconut vinegar with mother of vinegar, um, naturally fermented with live enzymes. So this is like a fancy vinegar. I haven't tried it yet. We'll be putting this on salad dressings. Um, quite excited to try it and I've also got this organic coconut flour naturally gluten-free 100% raw high in fiber and protein rich so I'm going to read you a couple of bits from here it says flour power coconut water and coconut oil may have shot to nutritional stardom over the last few years well that's very true isn't it uh, but another coconut ingredient could prove to be far more beneficial for those involved in health and fitness. With a hint of coconut, but otherwise tasting and looking like ordinary plain flour, coconut flour hides a healthy secret behind its nondescript exterior. It contains a whopping two, oh my god, 22 grams of protein per 100 grams of flour. That's over double the amount in normal flour and means you can turn everyday dishes into high protein recovery foods, whether you fancy a savoury pancake or a vitamin packed fruit crumble. It's not just exercise recovery that flour can help with, however. Adding coconut flour to your cakes and other desserts can mean you're less likely to reach for another slice. Protein is known to keep hunger at bay, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I was expecting this to be far more expensive. So actually, um, you can buy 400 grams of a resealable pouch for 3 99 It might be more expensive like Tesco value flour or, you know, whatever brand of flour that you buy 
but it's not as expensive as I thought it would be and if you're getting that amount of protein in there then to me that's that's a no-brainer um I wonder if it reacts differently to other flowers though I wonder how the consistency is going to change if there's that amount of protein it'd be really interesting to try and do like a protein bake of some kind with it um again see my instagram that will probably happen in the next few days this coconut vinegar looks really interesting though so you've got there's loads of different types so you've got coconut vinegar classic mother of vinegar which is one i have chili and ginger that sounds amazing garlic yes um, coconut nectar and balsamic style so you can use for cooking and in dressing sauces and marinades um, you could try it as a health tonic by mixing a tablespoon of organic coconut vinegar with a glass of water oh interesting and it makes and the vinegar kick makes it great for spicing up sweet sauces and asian dishes so here's the full range on the back that looks awesome i really want to try the garlic one well, I think I'm going to try that on my salad later today. Indigo Nutrition have sent me this organic virgin coconut oil, which is handy. Now, I am in two minds about this. I need to do some more research because there have been, I mean, this is kind of half my issue though, is that I feel like there's this Facebook culture of like, as soon as one thing gets mentioned or one study gets mentioned, everyone jumps on the bandwagon and goes this is going to kill you it will give you a heart attack i feel like most oils are like pretty not okay for you at, at cooking you know cooking with high temperatures or in high volume um i know there's been a lot about coconut oil clogging up your arteries and being as bad for you as other oils and all that kind of stuff and i kind of feel like with most oil it's high in fat it's not brilliant in high doses you should probably really kind of like take down a peg how much you are cooking with and all that kind of stuff, regardless of the kind of oil. I use olive oil on my salad. I don't cook with it because the molecules change when you cook at high temperature and it turns very carcinogenic. Um, however, I do really like coconut oil. I will continue to cook with it and I will continue to use it in tiny amounts in my cooking as it's supposed to be used. Um, this is raw and cold pressed. I'm a big fan of the Lucy B one as well. I haven't tried this one. Um, lately we've just been getting like the cheaper version because it's cheaper. So we've been doing like Tesco's or whatever. Um, but I'm glad that they sent me this because it's bloody expensive. And I do really like coconut oil. It's also really nice to use in your hair as a hair mask. If you've got really dry patches of skin or if you've had burns or anything like that. I could, if you wanted me to, do a full video on like 10 uses for coconut oil because it's not just cooking you can skincare makeup removal hair care like lots and lots of things um so if you'd like me to do that for you then let me know and i should do that because that would be quite an easy video to do excited to use this big fan of coconut oil anyway next thing i have to show you is mighty matcha super healthy green tea i'm great for the body um so it's great for the body, great for the mind, and versatile. So you can use it in warm tea, iced tea, smoothies, protein shakes, cakes, and even cocktails. My kind of tea. <laughs> so um, speeds up metabolisms to help you lose weight, reduces anxiety, and works with caffeine to create a pleasant, e even release of energy. It's the ultimate replacement for coffee. 137 times more antioxidants than regular green tea. Um, Long-lasting energy for three to four hours. This is the one, isn't it? So this is certified organic ceremonial grade matcha green tea available in store now. I am a big fan of matcha tea. I know that there is kind of some weirdness about it. You know, you may just as well drink normal, really good green tea. Yes, it's expensive, it's a powder form, it's a bit more filly than making a regular green tea. I really like it. I like the taste, it makes me feel good. I've always been a fan of um, Mighty Matcha. I've actually had this before. I bought it with my own money. I finished the tub. I didn't bother buying it again. Someone else sent me a different kind of matcha that I've been using up. This is the one that I went for initially, and I also do really like the Tea Pigs one. 
um, you appear to get more in here. It doesn't say anything about how much it is though, which is kind of annoying. But um, if I can find the price and stuff on the website, I will list that below. Again, if I have any kind of discount codes and all that kind of stuff, I will leave them down there for you. Really, really like this stuff. I especially like making iced matcha lattes or warm matcha lattes um, just as much as I'm a fan of turmeric lattes. Speaking of which, I have turmeric lattes here. This is Organic Sweet Revolution Outrageously Good Organic Instant Turmeric Latte with Coconut Milk. Free from dairy, free from refined cane sugar. Um, so it's frothy turmeric and coconut milk drink, sweetened with raw coconut nectar, a delicious alternative latte. Simply add water. I haven't tried this yet, but per serving, there are 166 calories, 22 grams of carbs, 8.1 grams of fat. 9.5 grams of sugar. Quite high in sugar, but you kind of, I guess you'd kind of treat this like a treat. If I make a turmeric latte, I make it with um, stevia or honey, your preference, um, a little bit of cinnamon, actual turmeric powder and almond milk, which is the probably healthiest version that you could make for yourself. Um, this is obviously kind of like a more produced version of that makes it easier for you. But um, this is a much better alternative than getting your like typical Starbucks vanilla latte, sugar loaded frappuccino of some kind. Um, and a nice kind of change from instant hot chocolate, if you fancy that. So I haven't tried this yet, but I'm excited to because it will save me a lot of faffing when I make these from scratch. So excited to try it. Next, I've got to show you this ultimate recovery. What is this? Spiced with purpose sachet. Um, so it's got cumin, basil, thyme, smoked paprika. So you can marinade, rub or sprinkle it on fish, eggs, soups, stews, put it in smoothies, um, roast vegetables with it. So it apparently contributes to normal muscle function. Naturally empowered authentic herb and spice blend. I have no idea really about the benefits of herbs and spice. Well, obviously I do, but you've really got to be using them consistently and using raw ingredients in your teas and all that kind of stuff. Um, but just as a general thing, I don't know whether I will see a difference in my muscle recovery and function just by using the spice packet. Let's be honest, it's got to be, you know, you've got to be living like a raw and almost like completely natural lifestyle to really kind of get the benefits of that kind of stuff. However, I do love to cook and it is really nice to find good quality natural spice blends that really make a difference to your food and that allow you to cook with really basic, wholesome proper whole foods without adding a load of like ready-made sauces and things to things so it's nice to have something that I can sprinkle on my roasted veg or like pop into a salad or like turn into a soup if I want to so I'm quite excited to use this and as you may have noticed I have already torn the top bit off and it does smell bloody amazing it kind of smells like a barbecue The next thing I have to show you, I don't have to show you anymore <laughs> because I drank it. So this is actually, what is it called? How do you say this? Sibiric, si no, Sibiri tree water. And I had the maple water, which is the strength. So it has more manganese than a cup of kale. And there's bamboo water, which makes you glow. It has the highest natural source of silica. And there is the clean and lean with four times less sugar than coconut water, and that's birch water. So this is basically naturally hydrating and really good for you. And I drank it, and it did kind of just taste like watery maple syrup, but it was really nice, and I did feel good for drinking it, and it tasted nice, and I would buy it again off my own accord. It's kind of, I feel like it's kind of like one of those kind of vitamin water type jobbies, where it contains high concentrates of like a certain... Thing that your body needs and it's supposed to kind of help you get a bit more healthy you can get it in like boots whole foods selfridges waitrose plant organic Mercado. do it um it is really nice i would totally drink it it would be like a much better alternative than going for something like a fizzy drink right i am missing one of the things that they sent me because it's downstairs and if I move, things will fall off my bed because I'm a rubbish YouTuber. So, <laughs> Fit Tea or Fitvia, <coughs> excuse me, 
sent me this fruit tea infuser bottle and this recover tea and there's also a detox tea which is tropical flavor now we're just we're just going to talk about this for one second and as much as i believe in the power of natural foods and healing and certain things can help you do certain things this whole like detox need to detox thing really kind of frustrates me in a way because your liver does that for you <laughs> so this whole like drink this tea and it'll detox you no to be honest i feel like it's bullshit sorry but i do however i appreciate the, that having a certain fruits whole foods you know will help the process and maybe that's what they mean but this whole like labeling of like oh drink this to detox no your body does that for you that's why you're still alive after you drink alcohol you that's what your liver does anyway these teas are fantastic i haven't used this yet i've actually just been using the little strainer that this came with which is also downstairs because i've been using it um this recovery tea is really yummy not gonna lie i'm gonna open it again so that i can oh, how do i i open you know when you open something really badly the first time it's got one of these wonderful like resealable things but it just has not been working for me because i'm a bit of a retard this smells like black currant it legit smells like healthy ribena and i'm i've been loving it the tropical one smells so tropical it almost smells like starburst or something it's amazing and it tastes amazing as well now all of these herbal teas they always smell amazing and the flavour, unless you steep it for a long time, always does come out kind of like a little bit more watery, if that makes sense. Um, but I have really been enjoying these teas. I haven't tried this yet. I do have one of these from Wittards, Um And I've got kind of like the cheap version from Tesco's where I can just put like frozen fruit in it and then add water and it kind of like tastes kind of like the fruit. Um, but I'm excited to try this kind of like fruit tea properly in the bottle so i take it out to show you because it looks really pretty and i think that if you've got sort of like people that are friends of yours who were kind of like health nuts and things stuff like this makes a really pretty present um i like the fact that it's pink and i like the fact that it's got a little handle again really good present for your kind of fitness lovers just like all these shaker bottles and things like that speaking of which i have a couple of bits from blender bottle here i haven't tried these yet i have shakers and things um and i was kind of i was thinking about passing them on to a friend who i know has just started like a fitness journey just because i have shakers and things um so this is the blender bottle it's got all of your um like milliliters and stuff across here you get the little shaker ball for mixing up your protein um or re kind of shaking your smoothie you have the little drink spout at the top i've always wanted one of these um, and to go with it you've got these go with it grab it fill it go with it uh blender bottle go stack and i don't know if you can see on the back but they stack up um, and I believe that they are made to sort of fit inside here. So you can, you can have your, you can fill them with snacks or you can have like your protein powder in one bit and your liquid in the other. So you can sort of shake it when you go or I just think these are great little tools for food prepping and making sure that you're achieving your goals. Um, um, L Sport sent me a voucher, which is awesome to spend online um on their clothes so i've got 150 what 150 pound voucher which is really cool oh my god so this is really handy so i might actually buy a couple of bits this evening and then do a review on them because you know that i'm in love with my nike stuff so i shall let you get i shall let you know how i get on with that more bits to show you stuff this is a misfits nutrition make every sweat count 
little tote bag which is awesome because I can chuck my book in there or like when I go to sleepovers at the boy so I can bring my stuff in here which is really cool um now oh god I flicked myself in the eye with that have a whole host of info right it says dear Hannah enjoy the multitasker we hope you like our brand and ethos if you're a fan please let your followers know they can get 20% discount online using the code all lowercase Hannah20 uh, team misfit hashtag make every sweat count with compliments so that's really cool um so you've got bits and pieces about the misfits website and things um a little bit about their nutritionist and what i really like is that they've given you some recipes on the back with what they sent which is misfits nutrition the multitasker, this is the chocolate flavour. This is naturally flavoured vegan protein powder with added essential nutrients. Now, as you can see, it's down to here. I have been using this, there's 20 servings in here. I can't remember how much it retails for. I think it's about the 20 pound mark ish. Most protein powders for, I think this is a kilo. Is it? No, 500 grams, sorry. I reckon this is probably about 15, 20 pound mark. Um, it's got 0.9 grams of fat, 1.1 of carbs, and 15.9 of protein. So lower fat and lower carbs per serving, um, but also slightly lower protein. So I find that my whey protein gives me roughly about 20 grams of protein. Uh, but this is completely vegan. Doesn't re it's pea protein, got nothing sort of super nasty in here. Um, and flavour wise, Smell um, is definitely chocolate. I don't know if I can, if I, I'll just scoop it out and show you. It's this typical kind of like brown, this typical kind of brown powder. Um, what I have found with a couple of the other vegan protein powders that I have tried is that they're really grainy and I really don't like that kind of texture. This is not particularly grainy. It does legit taste like chocolate and actually tastes really nice with water. The only thing I would say is that it is a thicker consistency, so a lot of you will really enjoy that um, because you like to feel full. Like if you're using it as like a meal replacement or you're using it as a snack, which is kind of what I do, <coughs> excuse me, then um, it's quite nice because it mixes well with water. But if you put like a double scoop in, like I did the other day, you can kind of use it as like one of those acai bowls. Um, so you could almost use it as like a chocolate protein based pudding and then put like half a banana on top and a few nuts and stuff and like have it as like a snack or a dessert replacement which is what I kind of like about it um, but it is a lot thicker I really like it I would absolutely purchase it again in fact I think I'm probably going to I might try another flavour though um, but yeah I really really do like this it's probably the first vegan protein powder that I've tried that I actually like and will continue to use. So highly recommend this one. Next thing I have to show you, that light is changing, sorry guys, it's getting really sunny in my room again now. So this is Arctic Power Berry, 100% pure berry powders from Finland, the land of the midnight sun. Um, so I have got cranberry powder. So you sprinkle it on your porridge, cereal, yogurt, or smoothie. I'm cooking, so that's really cool. I haven't tried this yet. Um, but I might actually stick this in my fruit smoothie. The last thing I have to show you is this box by Wellthos. Now, from my understanding, this is a monthly box subscription service that you get sent to you that has a mixture of health and fitness goodies inside, handpicked by nutritionists. Um, so for 10% off, um, a one-off box, use the code, all caps, SN10, and I will obviously leave that all down below for you. It says, we hope you enjoy your Wellforce box full of healthy goodies. This is an example of one of our past boxes, as we like to keep each month a surprise for our subscribers. So that's quite cool. So, how it works, I'm just going to read you a little bit about this. This is the kind of thing that I would love. I used to be obsessed with like those beauty boxes and things, but stuff like this... I think is much nicer because it sort of includes like snacks and things as well. 
Um, so it says, discover the latest health foods and fitness products with a box professionally curated by experts. At Wellforce, we don't just put anything in your box. Our brand ethos means we ensure all recommendations are actual healthy ones that have been checked by our own resident nutritionist, along with adding other advice, including recipes, exercise plans, and much more. So our experts carefully analyse all the health products on the market, hand select the best and healthiest that will inspire you. Hand pack each box with a premium selection, including full size products, whilst using our experts once again to add into your box recipe cards and exercise guides. We deliver a box of 10 exciting snacks, nutritional foods and fitness accessories for you to enjoy. So that's actually really cool. And it tells me a bit about my box contents in here. I really like the kind of layout of these as well. And then it's got more on the back, so you get this kind of full list. And then inside, I've got two recipes. So this one is for chocolate protein cookies. And then this is the supercharged veggie red lentil pasta, which looks really cool. So I shall get into the box and show you exactly what is going on. So I actually looked at this earlier and pulled bits out just to, because I'm nosy and wondered if there was anything to try. That neat whey protein, the vanilla one that I couldn't find the PR for, it's because it came in this box. Um, so we've got some neat whey protein, we've got quinoa crin crinkles, beast gear core sliders. Now, let me just show you these. These are really cool, so if you've got any kind of floor service, these these are little ab workout thingies. So what you would do is you would either sort of be in press up position and put them under your hands or under your toes and you use them to slide out. So these encourage you to use your core muscles, but it means you can do it on kitchen surfaces, you can do it on carpets, it just kind of... I don't know, you've probably seen a lot of these on Instagram, but there, can you see that they're slidey? Um, we've got this Just Be Honey Water in Blueberry. So Just Be drinks, um, mixed with a drop of honey to make drinks super thirst quenching. So it's 91% spring water and only 49 calories per carton. On bar milk buttons. You may have seen my Instagram posts like a week and a bit ago. I ate them. They were amazing. Made with raw cacao and I think it's she butter or cocoa butter or something like that. Coconut butter. Um, they were absolutely amazing. I would eat those over dairy milk any day. I know that you can buy them off their official website, but you can also buy them off of Amazon. Chia shots here. Everybody knows the benefits of chia seeds. Um, they are a bit of a funny texture though. If you're not, I don't know, sort of kind of slimy because they sort of, they puff out. Um, but this is kind of your 30 gram serving. High in protein, good antioxidants, good source of fat, pop it in your water, pop it in shakes. I like the idea of these little shots as well because I think they're really cute. Um, free from gluten, MSG, artificial flavourings and colourings. Good source of fibre, suitable for vegetarians. Less than 99 calories per serving and contain 45% less, less fat than standard packets of potato chips. So these are like the healthier version of crisps. So this is a good for you dessert bar. Does it say? This is banana muffin. So Rhythm 108 banana muffin dessert bar. Gluten free, vegan friendly dessert bar made with real banana, roasted almond butter and chunks. Perfect balance of authentic homemade flavour. Pantry is central for when you're running late in the morning and you need a healthy breakfast on the go. That spice nutrition also was in this box, so that makes perfect sense to me now. A spice mix from Spice Nutrition is a perfect addition to your recipes, containing fully natural sources of calcium, iron, minerals, which contribute to normal muscle function. I'm obsessed with pasta. I'm really low on my carbs for today. I basically just had protein and fats all day, so um, it's the afternoon now, and I think I might have this for dinner. I'm gonna make one of the recipes. I shall show it to you on Instagram later, and then you can see that it was balls. So it's organic red lentil pasta, gluten-free, made with one single ingredient, high in protein, fiber and iron, ready to eat in five minutes. Oh my and then we, <laughs> I think these are so cute. Squirrel Sisters, it's fruit and nut bar. Um, and it is in the flavor raspberry ripple. Let me see what it says. 
Delicious guilt-free raspberry ripple bar made with 100% natural ingredients. 82 calories a bar, vegan, raw, paleo, gluten-free and no added sugar. That's a win. Shall we try it? I think we should. Look how pretty this packaging is. It's got squirrels on. Yay! Look how cute they are. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's a win. It's a win. Mm-hmm. I would recommend that. That's yummy. Right. And that, my friends, is everything that I have to show you. Um, please give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this. If you want to see proper reviews of anything that is in here that I haven't sort of given you a bit of information on, let me know. Do also check out my Instagram because there will be posts going up about these products. My next video is already recorded and that is a current favourite so do look out for that. That is coming probably less than 24 hours after this one. I've got to edit them both tonight. Um, and yeah, that is all. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe if you're new here. And I hope the sun is shining wherever you are and you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Also, big apologies for not posting for a while. You know what I'm like. I'm a bit of a nightmare. Also, big apologies for the light change and the camera overheating scenario and not knowing where I need to record from, etc, etc. Awful person, awful YouTuber. Mega apologies. Stick with me. I promise things will get better. And for those of you that have been around since the beginning, thank you for sticking with me. <laughs> okay, love you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye.